Hi everyone, my name is Linda Reed Anova. I am the founder of Media Connections. I lead the impact team at Anova Group. Uh, I also look after a community called the Course Creator Circle and I run a little Facebook group you might know called Business Business Business. I'm excited to have you here today to join me to explore the world of what I love and call which is called Five Minute Marketing. Now Five Minute Marketing is all about making the most of those moments that pop up within your day. You know the ones. They're the ones where people, you know, cancel a meeting, you've got a little bit of a break in between things or you're picking the kids up from school or you're waiting for that next appointment. And it's those moments that if we can tap into them and make the most of them, we can really delve in and market our business. And in this episode, we're going to delve into different strategies you can look at to make marketing part of your day. Um, we've made the process simple. We have a little five minute marketing ideas deck, but you can run through these ideas or you can just start to keep yourself motivated uh, and find a few five minute ideas to go along the way. Now I'm going to keep this random. We are going to literally pick a card from the deck and I'm going to shuffle it up to show you that it's really random and I did not plan this episode for you so that we can help you market your business. Now each one of these cards has an activity on it and we're going to pick out five of them today to help you market your business and make marketing part of your day. Now the thing is we're picking out five five minute marketing activities. Five minute marketing activities, they're activities. They won't be the end solution 90% of the time, but they help you make the momentum and they help you gather speed within that space. So let's delve into it and let's start with our first card and let's have a look at what our first five minute marketing activity is to get involved with. Okay, this one is listen to your voicemail. Okay, this is one I don't do very often um, and I should do more often. So listening to your voicemail is what we're about to delve into today. So check your voicemail. Is it working? Yeah, that's a point. I've been caught with that one before. It hasn't worked. Um, is your greeting on brand? Is it up to date? Or is it just say, hey, leave me a message? Um, if you've gone into business and you had a very fun personal greeting, this is time to make sure that your, your message is on brand. Um, make sure it encourages your contacts to work to the, uh, to work with you. So it encourages people to work with you, but also that it encourages people to leave your message. If they've got to your voicemail, you would like them to leave your message. That way you can follow up and connect. Now, I know not lots of people do this, but it's about making sure that we do have our voicemail message talking about who we are and what we do. So make sure to try things along the line of, you know, hi, my name is Linda. Thank you for calling me. I'm currently with a client or I'm on another call. But if you leave me a message, I'll be able to get back to you shortly. Please leave me your phone number or email if that's the best way to contact you and I'll get, get straight back to you. That help allows people to contact and it also tells them, you know, which way, which way of preferred contact would you like. Um, and up the ante, you know, I'm going to say this up the ante on this one, create an after hours message. So when you're after hours, most voicemail providers allow you to do this now, create an, a message that says, you know, currently I'm out of the office, uh, but I will be back at, you know, whatever time of the day that you return to the office. Um, and if you leave me a message, I will respond to you as soon as it's possibly convenient and when we return. So first five minute marketing activity, whenever you get a break and it pops up within your day, check your voicemail. But why not even leave that one to the end of this video and go and check your voicemail message. Check that it is representative of who you are as a business owner, representative of your tone and encourages people to leave you a message and you're able to then get best in contact with them from there. Okay, we're ready for card number two now for this one. Yay! Five minute marketing activities. These are one of my favorite things to teach. So I do get a little bit excited when we start teaching this one. Okie dokie. Our next one is research some hashtags. Okay, so we're looking at researching some hashtags. Now hashtags, for those of you who don't know them, they're what link things together. Now Facebook now use hashtags, Twitter use hashtags, Instagram use hashtags, um, and the TikTok are very much within the world of hashtags as well. And LinkedIn has started rolling out hashtags as well. So there's plenty of platforms that you can use when you're connecting with hashtags. Now hashtags are a string of words all together. So quite often you won't go for just one, one particular word. It'll be a string of words. There's no gaps in between and it has a little hash mark in between it to, I'm sorry, in front of it to connect it all together. That then creates a link or a link. And if you click on one of those, it links off to a series of posts that people are able to engage with and find more. So it's about linking your content with someone else's content. Um, I love a tool called Display Purposes, and this is the one I'm going to recommend that you use this next five minute marketing tip for, is head to a website called displaypurposes.com, hashtag IO is another good one as well, and create a list of future hashtags for future 
for future use. So you can have them copied to your phone's keyboard, you can have them put in a Word document or a Google Doc that you can reference um, and allow, to, allow yourself to be able to create a list. So all you've got to do is go to one of those websites, enter your keywords and the hashtag generators do the rest. Now what I love about display purposes is it does filter out the banned hashtags on the world of Instagram. And we don't want to be using banned hashtags because well, one is a waste of space and two, it associates our brand with it, different people. Don't worry about why they're banned. No one really actually wants to know why hashtags actually banned. Believe me, don't go looking. Um, but just make sure that you use a tool like display purposes so you don't use them in the first place. And it's free. So five minute marketing tip, make sure you go and tap into the world of hashtags and do a little bit of hashtag research. Okay, we're getting ready to do idea number three. So let's pick idea number three out. Map out your ideas. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. And I just got a cool new tool for this one. Um, the tool I'm thinking about is idea, idea Note, and it's a really good one for mapping out your ideas. Five minutes is enough time to be able to draw out your ideas. Have you seen those people, you know, taking notes and planning out things in uh, on napkins in cafes? Yeah, I could be one of them. Um, it's a really good way to do that. So grab yourself a notepad or a whiteboard, a big whiteboard fan, get lots of colors because you know, lots of colors help you uh, and map out your idea for a campaign. Now, top tip, take a photo of that campaign that you map out because we want to make sure that if you lose that piece of paper or you lose that notepad, you've got it somewhere digitally as well. So you could map out what an email campaign is, what a nurture sequence might be or your next course by mapping out an idea and by mapping it out, you get it out of your head and you're more likely to take action with it. Okay, it's time to have a look at what idea number four for our five minute uh, marketing activities are. We're giving the deck another shuffle. And this one is make a phone call or make a call. So connect with someone. You, we are especially post COVID. We are in a situation where it's contact. You know, people need contact. They need to connect with people. So make a phone call. Um, and the phone call doesn't have to be to a potential customer to sell them. A phone call can be just as simple as connecting with an alliance partner or making a phone call to a past colleague and seeing what's going on in their world. You never know, they might have work for you. They might not know what you've changed or done within your world of business, or they might have someone to refer to you. Phone calls can lead to referrals, but just even checking in on your clients, you know, hey, Bill, just thought I'd call and check in and see how things are going with you. How's the family? What's happening? It's not a sales call. I just wanted to see how things were going in your world because you're part of our valued family here at your business name, whatever your business name is. So tap into the power of phone calls. They take five minutes to make and, you know, with cars, with phone calls, with Google speakers, you can pretty much make a phone call easily within the first five minutes it's about just speaking about who you want to call and then making that contact at contact and real human to human connection. Okay, let's get into our fifth and final five minute marketing idea because you know, I love fives. So we might as well get into that one. Okay, our fifth one is about listing your business. Okay, you can list your business in numbers of places and it's a really good way to actually tap into um, someone else's network. So we on the business, business, business website, for example, have a business directory listing, listing. Um, but you know, there's podcasts. So if you're a podcaster, you can list in podcast directories. If you're a craft person, you might look at, you know, listing in a craft directory or craft website as well. So there's lots of places that you can list your business. Adding your business to an online directory, one, increases your searchability because you've got a link back to your website somewhere else. And number two, it gives you the credibility of that online directory or that publication where you're being found and allowing people to be able to go and find you. So hopefully you have a bit of a company bio and description about what you do. Five minutes is enough time to go and quickly find a site uh, and pop your details in, list your business, make sure you've got your images, make sure you've got all your emails and your social links and add your details to a network where you're inheriting some trust from someone else. Now there are free and paid listings, so you don't have to go and pay all the time. There are freebie sites out there, but you know, if you think you've been getting a bit of traffic or you really value a community or somewhere where you're engaging, supporting their business directory is a great way of A, showing that you support them, but B, building your business and your profile and your trust with their audience as well.
Well, that's the end of our five five minute marketing ideas for this episode. I hope they help you delve in, really make the opportunity of those moments where you're making a cuppa, maybe riding the bus to work, maybe on public transport, or maybe just you've got that moment where you've had a cancellation to market your business. In addition to these, you can write out lists, you can map all sorts of things. And I have even more episodes on my YouTube channel that you are welcome to go and explore where I talk about how you can use the power of five minutes to market your business. Thanks for joining me. My name is Linda Reed Enova and I'm an idea strategist with a PRO marketing background that likes nothing more than helping you take your ideas to market.